Well, I would say, you know, the first is the prep preparation part I was talking about is just always being prepared um, in any given situation. So it's just like a normal job. I look at, I've always looked at acting as a career. It's, you know, it's not, hey, I'm going to have fun, although I, you know, you got to love it to do it. But you got to also treat it as a job and that, you know, you got to show up on time. You got to do all the basics of making somebody say, hey, I want to work with that person again. So to me, that's critical. There's there's the talent aspect of acting, which is important, but you got to let people know you're going to be easy to work with or, you know, I want to call them back. So that's one thing is just treat it like a business. Uh, be prepared. And a lot of it's networking, uh, talking to people. In fact, you know, we were talking about vindication. It's a great example of I was at a Christian Media Association meeting, and that's where I met Jared. And, you know, we just talked. He said, you want to do a short film? And that's what turned into three seasons of vindication. So I think that's really important is to be prepared, go out, meet people, talk to people. Um, uh, another one probably is... Uh, uh, you know, just as an actor, once you've done all your preparation and your research, maybe for a given role, is to let it go. Don't perform the work, if that makes sense. In other words, you do all this work, internal work as an actor, uh, whether it's through acting classes or whatever, but then let it go and just allow it to be there. That, I think, is really important. Um, and then um, other than that is research, uh, stuff like I IMDb has always helped me like if I had an audition for something I don't know anything about, but I know who the director is, look up the director, see what kind of work that director's done. It informs you as the actor, maybe the style, this could be uh, things like that. 